Kaiseki, one of the most famous, most popular alien robots imported from Japan that can change into a jet with a legacy rooted firmly in the 80s. No, I'm not talking about Starscream or Skywarp or Thundercracker. No, not Thrust or Dirge or Ramjet or Silverbolt, not Air Raid or Fireflight, Skydive or Slingshot, Jetfire or anything from Robotech. Hi, I'm Dan Larson and this is 1983's Leader One. Leader One was released in 1983 as part of Tonka's GoBots. GoBots were a rebranding and reimagining of Bandai's Machine Robo series after being imported to the United States. GoBots were a primary competitor to Transformers in terms of where your money would be spent, but in reality, everyone who loved transforming robots had enough room in their heart for both lines. I'm trying to end the conflict. <laughs> But what is this thing? What is Leader One and how did it make such an impact on so many when it brings almost nothing to the table? It's barely a step above the kind of robots that change modes by laying them down. He's a nine step changer at best. He's a one on the difficulty level. As an early 80s transforming robot, his articulation is incidental to the engineering of his transition between his two modes. In this case, the jet mode is most important. He has to look like a toy fighter jet. The transition is second. He's got to be able to turn into some kind of robot. And the robot mode is just kind of like, ah, what do we do with this guy? Moved some parts around, right? Looks kind of like a guy with goggles. Some kind of robot? Good enough. Next. There's nothing else going on here. He's a plain gray airplane with a green cockpit. In robot mode, he's got some silver, black, and gold accents, and you don't have to look any deeper because you can't. There's nothing below the surface. The robot design doesn't even have that much personality. Transformers had faces and lips and eyes and stuff, expressions. They had rockets and lasers and missile launchers and swords and all kinds of stuff. There's almost nothing to relate to. Leader One is a simple, visually bland figure that looks better through the 3D glasses of nostalgia. In robot mode, he's got swivel shoulders and that's it. This figure is the opposite of exciting. It's not the gas pedal, it's the brakes. But there's no posability here because it's not about posing. The selling point is in the puzzle of mode shifting. The draw is not the figure, the draw is the activity of turning the robot into a jet and back again. The fun is in the secret knowledge, secret of course to no one, but in the kind of secret knowledge that you had a jet that had a secret. He wasn't really a jet, and only you knew the secret to making him into a robot. To overlook him due to his simplicity is to assume that there is only value in being flashy, in the visual stimulation of complex design. Leader One is the calm. Leader One is the unmoving rock in the storm of the transforming robot seas. Constant, overbearing sound and fury swirling around him from every direction to varying degrees of success and failure. Leader One makes a simple promise and delivers. He's a relatively accurate 1-200 scale F-15 Strike Eagle with rolling landing gear and you can change him into a robot whenever you feel like it and it will only take about 10 seconds. Promise made, promise kept. Pocket size, no parts to lose, no decals to apply. All of his flaps and panels are etched into his surface. There's a chrome decal in the cockpit to make the illusion even more convincing to help you get lost in the fantasy of this figure as something bigger, something grander, something real. And not for nothing, but he is a military fighter jet, and the power of imagination goes a lot faster than Mach 2.5. He'll be out of the package and screaming across the room, keeping pace with all of your other space jets and dragon robots. Thanks for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Share this video with your GoBot friend, and let us know in the comments below if you have owned or want to own a Leader One. Leader One is in my top... Um, 11 figures of all time and it's hard to be honest that there's not much going on here but i really as much as i love this thing i really i i know it's not a very compelling thing purely on the surface and i hate to fall in that trap of nostalgia but here we are i am trapped help me <laughs>